What's the difference between the link operators select and select many? Select, as we know, is a simple one-to-one -one mapping. But what about select many? I'm going to show you that in a second. But hang around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you a little known technique with select many that allows you a quick way to perform a cross join. So we need some data to work with. Here we have a class called winner. It has two properties, country, the name of a country that has won the FIFA World Cup, and then a list of the years that they won the World Cup. So if we look down in our main, we're creating our test array called list, and we have three entries, one for Argentina, one for England, one for Germany. And for each one, we have an array of the years they won the World Cup. Our first query is just an example of a select. We take our list of winners, and then for each entry, we're just going to return one of the properties, the name of the country. So this is how select works. I'm sure you already know this. For every entry in the list, the select runs a function, and this function is going to return the property or a new object or the object itself, etc. So it's a one-to-one -one mapping. Select is a one-to-one -one mapping between the objects coming in and something that comes out. In this case, it's a trivial example. If we're going to return the country, then we end up with a list of the countries. But now it gets a bit more interesting. Now we're going to do another select. Instead of returning a string, the country, we're going to return the array of years they won. Again, it's a one-to-one -one mapping. So the output is going to be a list and where each entry in the list is the array, the, the list of years they won. Still fairly simple, but let's double check this works as expected. If we run the code, and there we go, a list of arrays, and each item is just an array. Now we're going to change just one thing. Instead of select, we're going to make it select many. So what's the difference? Select is going to result in a list of lists. Select many takes all those sublists and creates a new one with all those items just concatenated together. So we have a flattened single list which is the aggregation of all the other lists added together. And this is simple to show. Let's run our code again. It's taken the contents of all three lists and added them together into just one big list, in which case we can see that all of our years have been added together. That is the essence. That is the summary of select many. Select many has a second parameter, which is really cool. Let's have a look. Our first parameter is the same. We return a list of years for each winner, simple. Now the second parameter is a lambda that allows us to control what gets added to the aggregated list. The first parameter is the same as the parameter to here. It's gonna be the winner object in this case. The second parameter is the individual item that comes from this year's collection. So in our case, for Argentina, the years contains three values, three years that they won the World Cup. So that means that this function will be called three times. The first time this will say Argentina, the second time the first year they won, 1958. The second time it's called again, this is Argentina, and this will be the second year that they won. The third time it's called again Argentina, and the third time it's called. So this allows us to create a customized entry. Now in my example, I'm gonna create an anonymous object. I'm going to select the country, which will be paired up with the year they won, so that I have, for every entry, the winner and the year. Let's see it in action. If we run the code, here we go. So now we can see the name of the country each time, along with the year of winning. This is a bit more useful to us in our example. Now we can add an order by clause. All we're doing is modifying the previous query. We're going to add an order by year because now I want to see the list of results in year order. And then for each year, we'll be able to see the matching country that we added with our Lambda in the previous step. Let's see this in action. And here we go. It's now ordered by year. 1954 Germany, 1966 England, and so forth. So we can see how Select Many has been really useful at taking these sublists and generating one big list. And now that I have a single list, I can now sort, filter, use whatever you want to do 
to get a more reasonable output. Finally, I want to show you a cool trick you can use to generate a cross join. Let me explain. Here I have two lists, columns A, B and C, rows 1, 2 and 3. Just like Excel, you have columns going across and rows going down. Now imagine I want to produce the cross apply of this, the cross join. I want to output A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, the permutations. I can use select many to do this. And it's very easy. Look, I've taken the columns and I'm saying that for every column, I want to output the rows. This is a bit different to before. I'm not using the past in variable col here. I'm ignoring that. I'm just saying I'm going to return a fixed list. So for every one of the columns, A, B, C, always return the same list of rows, one, two, three. And that means that when I do the second parameter, I'm going to have the column, let's say A, followed by the row one, and I'm just going to output it as if it was like an Excel location, A1, A2, etc. So now I've effectively created a cross join. Let's prove that by running it. So here we go, A1, A2, A3, and so forth. This is a handy trick to remember in the future. If you ever need to do that cross join to generate all the permutations, select many against two collections is your friend. So to summarize, select is a one-to-one -one mapping. Select many takes each entry and returns a list of items. Hence, select many is returning lists for each entry. It then concatenates them all together into having one big list that you can then use. Don't forget, you can use a second parameter to customize what appears in the aggregated list, as we saw with our countries and years. And a nice little neat trick is you can do a cross join. Hopefully you found that useful. If so, hit the like button. Until next time, happy coding.